what's up guys welcome back to the channel and as some of you have may seen there was a fighter update and I'm going to tell you what fighters got upgraded and what fighters got downgraded so let's just get right into it might as well start right at the top with Alexander the Great his switch stance went from a 90 to a 95 that's the only that's the only stand-up stat he got upgraded but then his his top control went from a 92 to a 93 his sub defense went from a 90 to a 95, which, you know, why wouldn't it? And then his ground striking went from a 92 to a 94. And then his cardio went from a 97 to a 98. And his recovery went from a 95 to a 96. So let's move on to Brian Ortega. His punch speed went up from a 91 to a 92. His block went from a 90 to a 91. His head movement went from 89 to a 91. And his footwork went from a 90 to a 91 as well. And his switch stance went from a 94 to a 96. So not bad, not bad. We're gonna move on to the heavyweight division. And if I'm going too fast, I am going to post this in the description. So if you just want to see the stats in the description, just th that's where they'll be. So Blades here, his punch speed went up from a 90 to a 92. His head movement went down. It was a 91. Now it's a 90. His footwork went up from a 90 to a 91. His, his switch stance went up. A whole seven so it went from 80 to 87 then his uh his kick speed went up from 89 to a 90 and his ground striking went up from a 92 to a 94 and that's all the the upgrades he got he got one downgrade with head movement which it is what it is so let's move on to the middleweight division as you see here there's some changes we got you know a change in the top six here you got Derek Brunson and you got Jerry Karanier. So let's go over it. Jerry Karanier first. So his punch his punch speed went up from a 90 to a 92. And his power went from a 97 to a 98. Then his footwork went up huge from 86 to a 91. His switch, his switch stance went, went from 88 to a 92. Then his takedown defense also went up from 87 to 91. And kick speed went up from 89 to a 90. So he is going to be very viable in this division now if he wasn't before. So and then he also got some clinch control. It went from 87 to 89. But still, you really want to try to strike with him. And his health did not get touched. Derek Brunson got some some upgrades, oops, but mostly in the grappling department. So his subs went up from 86 to 89. His ground striking went up from 91 to 92. His clinch control went from 90 to a 92. And then his chin went up from an 89 to a 90. And his recovery also went up from an 89 to a 90. So... Maybe we're going to be seeing more of Derek Brunson's in the middleweight division. I mean, maybe not, but let, we can always hope. We can always hope for a little bit of variety. So let's move on to Nick Diaz here. So Nick Diaz got, he got a few nerves and he also got a few upgrades. So wait, actually he only got one nerf. His punch speed went down. It was a 93. Now it's at 90, then his block went up to a 93 to a 94, and then his cardio went from a 94 to a 96, and also his chin went up from a 93 to a 95. So very interesting upgrades there. And then let's move on to his opponent, Robbie Lawler, who actually, you see, he's in the top 15. I don't, I don't know if he was before. Correct me if he was. I don't think that he was, but very interesting to see. I'm glad to see it. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Robbie Lawler. So, anyways, his punch speed went up 
to uh, went from a 93 to 194. His punch power went from a 92 to a 93. His accuracy went from a 92 to a 94. His block went from 94 to 96. Then his takedown defense went from 89 to a 90. Then his kick power also went up from a 90 to a 93. And then his clinch went from 86 to 88. Then his cardio got up to a 92 to a 93. And his legs also went up from 87 to 89. So some pretty good buffs there. Then we're going to move on. And this is where people miss stuff. Because I was in the Discord and there's, there's some stuff that some people missed. So we're going to go to the flyweight division. One of the fighters I use quite a bit. Just because just I'm, I'm a fan of his. So Alexander Pantoja. His accuracy went from 88 to an 89. His head movement went from 88 to a 90. Then his takedown defense also went from 86 to a 90. And then we move to his grappling. His takedowns went up from 89 to 90. Oh, wait. Yeah, 88 to 90. Sorry about that. I, I lost track of where I was at. But anyway, his top control then also went from 91 to 93. His sub defense went from 93 to 94. Then his clinch control went from 87 to 89. And then, I don't know why this happened, but his cardio went down from a 92 to a 90. But he's still very usable. I feel like not enough people use him. But hey, it is what it is. Maybe with this upgrade, we'll see more of him. He's the only guy to beat Brandon Moreno twice. He beat him on top, and then he beat him actually in the UFC. I don't know if any of you guys know that, but... You know, he should have been the next challenger, in my opinion. But, hey, it is what it is. But let's get back on track here. And I'm going to go to Dan Hooker, the guy with uh, right now with the biggest balls in the UFC. So his accuracy went up from a 93 to a 94. His footwork went up from a 93 to a 94. His kick power went up from a 91 to a 92. Then his takedowns went up from 88 to, no, 89 to 90. My bad. I'm human. I'm going to make mistakes here. And then his top control went from 88 to 89. And then his clinch striking went from 89 to a 92. And then we're going to move over to the guy who got nerfed the most. I don't know if you guys see anything different here. But there used to be, you know, a bald guy who kind of looked like a one-punch man. He's not in here anymore. Not, he's no longer in the top 15. This guy. Marlon, man. You had the guy. You had him beat. And you just should have let him up. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, all props to his opponent for coming back from that. I mean, I, I, I thought the fight should have been stopped. But it is what it is. But he got nerfed enough to knock him out of the top 15 at least. So his bottom control went from... A 92 to a 90. His clinch control went from 89 to 88. And then his his cardio and his chin went down from a 90 to 89. And his recovery went from an 89 to an 88. So that is all the updates and all the nerfs. Um, I'm, I'm going to go through again and make sure I got them all. But I wanted to get this video out for you guys because I know a lot of people... They always wonder, what's in the fighter update? And like I said, of course, EA doesn't post this stuff. Just post this shit somewhere, man. Like, is it that hard? I mean, you obviously have a list of it somewhere to, to input these updates. So why not just fucking post it? Just post it somewhere. And I wouldn't have to do this. But it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, I'm going to post this stuff in the description. I didn't have time to do all the overlays and all that stuff today. So I'm going to post this in the description to make it a little bit easier. I know I might have went, went a little bit fast for some of you. But I hope you guys um, at least appreciate what I did. If you do, please leave a like. Consider subscribing because I am going to always 
do these updates as long as as long as I do these fighter updates I'm gonna try I'm gonna be on top of it but all right guys have a good day and most of all I will see you in the next one